Thomas Party has been ruled out of the Man United clash that's going to take place today, the Emirates. Welcome to the Rokandi Media Football. How are you guys and where you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokan David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rokan David remains my name. This is the Arsenal News Show. And obviously, we are going to discuss stories concerning Martinelli ready for the United tie. And Fabio Vieira really has lots of things to say as far as this game of football is really concerned. It's too close to form. Relax, mention this video as we obviously bring you <laughs> the latest about Thomas Party injury blow. Now, you know, sometimes we always look at one another and obviously ask ourselves, when is Thomas Party going to get injured? Because for me, Thomas Party is just, <clears throat> it was just a matter of time for him to be injured. You know, him having gone ahead to play some good games for Arsenal, not injured, but we all know that he's an injury prone player. And this is where it plays out in a very big question that why didn't Arsenal sell him for like 40 million pounds and obviously getting a replacement that would obviously be readily available for the club of Arsenal. Now, who broke the story? It was the Ghana Black or the Ghana All-Stars. And they confirmed us that Thomas Partey is left out of the Ghana squad due to injury. According to Arsenal, the player picked up an in injury in training and could be on the sidelines for a while. However, the Black Stars medical team <coughs> is monitoring the situation. They are the ones that obviously broke the story that as they are going to obviously include Thomas Partey into the team that's going to be playing into the <clears throat> into the African Cup of Nations qualifier games, they are told that he cannot be included into that squad because he's obviously an injured player and they went ahead to obviously break that story in here for us. Now, they also went ahead to add that from the Ghana national team doctor, that is the Black Stars, he said the following that. He sustained a groin injury during training on Thursday, August 31st, 2023. He's currently unavailable as club doctors predict he's likely to be out for a couple of weeks. That is it coming in from the Ghana, uh, the Ghana team and the doctors. You know, Thomas Partey is really a pivotal member of this Arsenal side. And you remember when I was doing the match preview, I called out for Mikel Ateta to obviously include Thomas Partey into the midfield. And Thomas Partey's injury just changes the entire shape of the team of Arsenal, meaning that Declan Rice is going to be played at the best of the midfield, that is the single pivot, Kai Havertz and Martin Odegaard. That's how Arsenal is going to line up. Ben White has to find himself playing into the right back position, Tomiyasu left back. It brings back Gabriel Magalhães to the equation to start <coughs> the game as United takes on Arsenal at the Emirates today. And it obviously leaves Arsenal in an ocean of questions that what should we do for Thomas Partey? Because however much we reject the money, <coughs> there is one thing we obviously have in mind that Thomas Partey is not a player who can obviously play you 30 games of the season. If at all you are not mistaken, last season... Thomas Party found himself playing some good Premier League games and he obviously put up what we call a very, 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 very good, good, good competition in there for you. And he played a total, I think, of 39 games. That is for Arsenal. And obviously, he had 33 Premier League, exp 33 Premier League games, I think. So it shows you that Thomas Party is a player that you cannot rely on your season. And it shows you that Maybe Arsenal brought in Declan Rice and they're really having a replacement for Thomas Partey. But to me, I think he thrives better. Who? That is Thomas Partey. Sorry, that is Declan Rice when he's playing alongside Thomas Partey in that midfield three. So, he's out <laughs> of the game of Man United and that obviously calls in for maybe Jorginho to obviously come in through and play into the CDM position to see it that Arsenal have what we call total control of that midfield. Because if they go in for Declan Rice, Kai Havertz and Martin Odegaard, I think they would have gone ahead to give United a chance to obviously at least dominate and have moments through the midfield of the pitch. So 
Thomas Partey is a very huge blow for the club of Arsenal. He's out. And um, I think if I told you you are shocked because of his injury, then it's you who really needs to know the injury history of Thomas Partey. He's a player who is just an injury prone one. I admit last season he tried to keep most of the game's fit, but he is really one of those players that has gone hit obviously not do the needful for the club of for the club of Arsenal as far as being a variable is really concerned. Though I don't really <laughs> rate him to Paul Ebile Pogba because Paul Pogba was worse. The injury record of Paul Pogba to Man United was worse. But the injury record of Thomas Pate is improving season in season out let's wait and see for how long he's going to obviously take before he obviously becomes sorry before he obviously gates himself back to his full fit to play for arsenal but it's said he's going to spend some weeks out of action though the others are really selling a narrative that they don't want him to go and play for the Ghanaian national team and that cannot really <coughs> that cannot be that cannot really be given as a reason that Thomas Partey is going to miss the game of Man United. If at all they wanted to see him miss out the international games, they would have gone ahead to do the following. They would have gone ahead to get hold of Thomas Partey to play the game of Man United and maybe take him off. And then later, they say he's really injured. That is it. And it looks like the statement being put out by <laughs> the doctor of the Ghanaian national team shows you that Maybe they're also having some huge question marks as far as his injury is concerned. They're asking themselves, why is it that he gets injured as we go into the international break? And Arsenal need to reserve him. That's why, to me, I think it was really okay to really sell this player and Arsenal get in a more reliable player, but maybe like a Lavia or anyone else. So Thomas Partey is ruled out of the United clash. That is confirmed and it needs no further clarification, but the player is really out. Now, as Thomas Partey is really out, Gabriel Martinelli, <coughs> one of the players that obviously are physically fit to come through and obviously put in a <coughs> shift for Arsenal as they take on Man United, has gone ahead and obviously told us the following that it's always a tough game. We are expecting a tough game and we are ready for it. We've been working hard and are going to try our best. Playing at home with our fans to win the game. So, Gabriel Martinez is talking about them winning the beautiful game of football as they take on Man United. But it's obviously in the favor of Arsenal. Today I was with one of my bosses on radio and I was we were really discussing it live. And I told him that Arsenal really has an edge over this game. I made this whether Thomas Partey is out or what. But they are playing at uh, Emirates and they're going to be having 60,000 fans behind them, cheering them to obviously register what you call the World Record win. So Martinelli calling in for a win at Man United is obviously important and he needs to get the three points as he has going to have to emphasize it again and again and again. So wait and see how that pans out. But the lad is obviously serious to see to it that he lifts the three points back at the Emirates. Now, he also went ahead and obviously talked about the Brazilian players that play for Man United. And this was, oh, this was his statement. He said, it's always nice to play against the Brazilian players. It's so good to go to the games and know there is going to be someone you know from your country. It's going to be a very good game. And I wish... Anthony all the best, but I want to win the game. So, talking about Brazilian players that play for Man United, <laughs> there is um, Anthony and Casemiro. That is it. Uh, Fred Rodriguez, the other Brazilian, was sold to Fanabachi, and I think we don't have any other Brazilian into that squad of Man United as it stands. But, obviously, when it comes to what the game of football is all about, it's now a professional kind of job. You just have to do the job so that your team wins, play alongside or play in favor of the instructions given to you by the manager of the respective team. But for Martinelli wanting three points, I know they want them because they know what it means to obviously lose to Man United. It's a very big rivalry and it has been here for some long time. It has been rekindled by the upthrust of Arsenal 
last season and Eric Ten Hag is coming in through to obviously cause a very huge upthrust at Manchester United. So let's wait and see how that pans out. But Martinelli is geared up for the three points that he wants his team to get. Even Fabio Vieira had the following to say amidst the absence of Thomas Party that it's a big rivalry because we know these are two big teams and you want to win of course because we play at home in front of our fans it's always a big chance a tough game everyone knows their qualities but we have our qualities we need to go for the three points so everyone is really calling in to go for three points especially the arsenal fans meaning that they are charged and ateta maybe told them that they are really seeing you as underdogs in this fixture especially as far as players are concerned so go on and really take the game to those players and they'll feel it obviously to me i'm favoring arsenal but i don't rule out a win for man united because a gym because it's always necessary and very okay to obviously think about what fabio vera really said fabio vera played a very big part in the game at old trafford <laughs> though arsenal beat them by three goals you need to beat arsenal by three goals to one at the year minutes did he even have come to, did he even come on the substitute i think they brought on trossard to do the job and he has gone ahead to obviously do the needful but over the weekend <laughs> it looks like he clicked well with the team of arsenal as they drew with fulham at home because they sent two sweets not sweets because when he came on through he obviously saw himself putting up two assists into that beautiful game of fixture that really played at the emirates so we wait and see how that pans out so your thoughts on to thomas party ruled out of the united clash are welcome in the comment section below what do you make about um martinelli calling in for three points and the other player also calling in for three points is fabio vieira i said out for now see your letters i cover you all in the precious blood of jesus christ may the living to god bless you abundantly and to my muslim viewers and subscribers barak lao fickle